This section of the floor is quite flimsy. It could easily collapse. Oh, wonderful. Does that mean if I jump, I die? It's very bouncy. I like it. It's fun. Just checking for weird stuff up here. And what the hell is happening with my laser when I shoot? It's like the laser's bending. Hmm. It could easily collapse. Uh, it's gotta be used for something. It wouldn't mention it to me if it was irrelevant. A few large spools of luminescent wire. Can I cut some off? I do not require any wire right now. Okay. Hmm. This place seems to be irrelevant at the moment. My right eye itches like crazy. Ah. I'm trying to blink to make the itch go away, but it's not working so well. Oh, look at that shadow of the fan on the wall. That's so cool looking. Okay, um, is there anything in here that I can actually do? Oh, I can actually make that jump. I didn't think I could. Should I have missed anything? <laughs> I look like an idiot doing this. Standard droid operating procedure. Well, I can't see anything, so let's go. We oh. I don't really know what that accomplished, other than breaking an already very broken place. I could cut some off if I had a reason. I still don't have a reason, do I? I will remove some of the wire. Okay, now I have a reason? What the hell am I going to do with the wire? Local inventory objects. Some objects are area-specific and will appear in your inventory when you're in range. For example, check your inventory when you're around this pile of loose wire. Okay? That is a strange mechanic to be introduced past the two-hour mark and seems rather... Yeah, that's just weird. Okay. Right, so it's just in my inventory. I'm using it on the wheel? Why did I do that? I don't understand. Why? Why? Am I just like partially solving puzzles that I can't access? I'm guessing I have all the tools I need to uh, go solve the baby problem. I'm hoping. Check back here now that I've aggravated the fungi. Aha! I knew it! I knew it! 
Don't know what that really accomplished, but I knew it. Oh, did I just like crush the baby's head? Or something? Wait, hold on. What's gonna happen? Is, did that solve it or do I need to do something more? Humans should not concern them. This room will test an upset baby will emerge. You have 20 seconds per attempt and I am ready to pre Okay. I don't get it. I have succeeded in making a gigantic tube point down at the baby. Okay, well, I'm thinking because it's timed, I probably need to go up there. And do something. Humans should not concern this room. I'm up. You have 20 seconds per I am ready to... Well, let's go up and do something. Like this? Uh, is it gonna like melt the baby? Did I melt the baby? I'm trying to melt the baby, but I don't think I melted the baby. I just want to keep saying, melt the baby. That succeeded in accomplishing nothing. Do I need to explode more things? Hmm. I do have this power cell, and there is another generator, I could try to use it in it, although I don't have any specific reason really to do that, other than to see what the hell happens. But, uh, where was the generator? I don't actually remember. Was it... Oh no, it's actually back up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's back up there. I think it's where I got the red goo from. Wasn't it here? Shit, maybe it's not. Oh no, 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 it is. Okay. Excellent. Um, I succeeded in solving another puzzle that I also have yet to get to. Great. What the fuck am I supposed to do about this baby? I just want to smash its stupid face. I just want to pulverize it into dust. Okay, so... Get out of here. That's the tube that the malfunctioning droids are sent to, right? Or something? Right? Isn't that where they're sent through? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So...
So, I have no idea. <laughs> the kill tube from the dusting test, it fell through the ceiling. Right, but... Oh, it's from the dusting test, huh? Specifically from the dusting test? Hold on, can I do something with it? No. And I can't fail this test, right? Which means I can't get something to suck up. Humans should not consume this run up. You have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. I will re Yeah, you can't check whether it's complete, because it just does it automatically. Like, I think I need, like, an object to get sucked into the tube to, like, smash the baby in the face or something? I don't know. Wait, the dust test was up there, wasn't it? Shit. Okay, I could shoot into the tube. Would that accomplish anything? I really don't see how that would accomplish anything, but let's give it a shot. Human this room has upset me. You have 20 seconds per attempt. I am ready to... Hear the sweet sound of gunfire? Behold my parenting skills. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Human should not consume this room. I'm up. You have twenty seconds. I am ready. Use anything on it, can't interface with it, can't shoot it, unfortunately. Alright, go away. Alright, since it's broken, does it now connect to what? This tube? Should I just follow this tube? Like, where does it actually go now? Well, it's gonna take way longer than 20 seconds to get to. I can't even, I gotta go down. Shit. That was- that went over really far. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Something about this damn tube. Computer doesn't have anything interesting to tell me. That doesn't do shit, except take away my shields. Oh, feels good. Ow. Nothing here I can interact with. So C57, that doesn't seem relevant. Nor I can use that number. Maybe I should ask for help now. Maybe now he'll, like, sing a song or something? I don't know. Let's make sure there's nothing to do here. Pretty sure there is not. 
The required melody will be randomly selected from the Lullaby Databank when the test is initiated. Is there any way for me to modify the Lullaby Databank? Not that I can see. But let's try asking for help again. Humans should not concern this room with an upset baby. You have 20 seconds per attempt. Can you assist? You have been provided. How would a military droid make someone be quiet? Once again, that's not helpful. I will return. Yeah, I don't get it. Alright, well, I'm gonna have a think about this, and I'll be back. Okay, wait a minute, I think I might have it. I just realized I can still use this panel despite the fact that I've completed it. So, if I take this off... Then I could suck something up. Processing. Dust detected. Unit terminated. Okay, that didn't actually seem to do anything, but let's try that when the baby's actually out. Humans should not concern this room will upset you have twenty seconds per attempt. I am ready. Keeping a home clean will be one of your primary functions. I have completed. Evaluate. Processing. Dust detected. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> 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 Validated. Merit point awarded. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> The baby has stopped crying. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that does... Kind of... There is a really weirdness to the puzzles in this game. See, it's not that that solution doesn't make any sense. Like... If you look at all the parts together, it's logical, right? The fungus... Okay, you have weak pipes. There's a fungus around them that when the predators of that fungus are... When the presence of the predators of that fungus are around, their defenses activate and they have acid. So you activate their defenses, now they have acid, you blow one of them up, acid sprays everywhere, that weakens the already weakened pipe, the pipe falls through. And then it says, you know, this is the the kill tube from the dusting test. So we know it's going to suck or something like that. And of course, we can make this thing fail again if we take off the filter and do that. Like, it makes sense. The puzzle is logical. But there's a problem. The problem is that all I did was remove the baby. And that solved the, the problem. Because now that the baby's no longer there, it can't make a noise because it's gone and or dead. So why didn't I just shoot it? I have a gun. I can kill robots. I'm pretty sure I can kill a little, like, wood baby thing. Why didn't I shoot it? Why didn't I just grab it? Like, that... And that was like the Rube Goldberg machine way of taking care of that problem. The puzzle's logical, it's just silly, though. Because there's much, much more reasonable solutions other than that convoluted mess. It's a logical mess, but it's a convoluted mess. It's weird. Very weird. All right, let's start solving these puzzles. Hmm. 
Who's that there? Be a dear and help an old lady across the street. Mm -hmm. I need to see my grandson at the playground. Walk in front of these cars so they'll stop for me. Okay, fair enough. Wait, direct to playground, what does that mean? The playground is in the other direction. Aaron, the human is always right, even when they're stupid. Especially when. Okay. Well, you can go fuck yourself, old lady. Who's that there? Walk in front of these cars so they'll stop. Follow me. Uh. The drag appears to be broken. I do not think I can fix it. Okay. Well, now that's going super fast. Who's walking in front of these cars so they'll stop for me? Why don't you just go on your own? Follow me. Aw, that sucks. The wooden lady facade, it is broken at the base and has come loose. Yoink. Hey, she made it. Woman escorted across the street. These old legs aren't what they used to be. Validated. Merit point awarded. Well, that was pretty easy. This section of the track is broken. I do not think I can fix it. Okay. Although, once again, a bit silly. Like, so the goal of that was to get her out and then just move her myself. So again, why didn't I just, like, shoot at her legs until I could rip it off? I'm sure that would have been adequate. Like, I'm sure it would have had enough force to be able to rip a wooden lady off of her track. If not with my arms directly, then at least with my weapon helping. You better help an old man fix his truck, won't you? I don't know what's wrong with her. Many humans feel more at ease when addressed with subservient colloquial language. When you have finished the task, talk to the driver and tell him, Give her a go now, sir. <laughs> Dismiss primitive technology. The vehicle represented is antiquated. It is illogical to imagine a human utilizing such a machine. That's what I thought. You better help an old man fix his truck, won't you? I don't know what's wrong with her. Many humans, when you have finished the task... Hold on, hold on. I will... Look at the picture of the old guy's face. He looks like a freaking Sasquatch or something. You better help an old man fix his truck, won't you? I don't know what's wrong with her. Many humans, when you have finished the task, talk to the driver and tell him, give her a... This is a simple machine. I am certain I can fix it. Okay, still don't know why I attached the luminescent wire, but, uh, give her a go now, sir. I have completed the repairs. Mm -hmm. Give her a go now, sir. <laughs> yep, there's that again. Validated. Merit point awarded. Easy points, easy life. <laughs> Child is covered in fungus. Oh god, it's the return of Timmy. That's, wait, that's all it says? Come give me a push, robot. That's all it says, okay. Fine, you wanna push? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Can I, like, connect the other end of this wire to this thing to unfreeze it? Ah, I... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't work. I took the wind out of my sails. Oh, I've got the plastic shoe cover back again. Alright, here's a push. It doesn't work. You're defective. God damn it, Timmy, why are you covered in fungus? Yeah, you fucking bilge fucker. 
It's a wonderful insult from uh, the Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. TM. It is seized. I require significantly more torque to move it. It's a shame I can't just pour some acidic fungy smoke over on it and just kind of melt it a bit. I mean, maybe the wire really isn't connected to getting him getting his car running at all. But does it, the tire actually spin? If it does, I could potentially use that to, like, drag that or something. I don't know. I, I can't attach the other end, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I don't attach it to him. I attach it to this. Duh. Okay, that, there we go. Alright, Timmy, you're gonna go for a ride, you little fucker. Enjoy your whiplash. I have completed. Mm. Give her a Fuck you, Timmy! Child satisfied. Validated. Merit point awarded. This game has a wonderful dark sense of humor, I love it. <laughs> Child has stopped crying. Child satisfied. Appropriate, uh protein on the table. Alright, was that three? I think that was three, so what am I missing? Oh, right, this one. Whoa. Uh, hi. Creepers. This one looks like Sasquatch, too. And there's a little fucking Timmy, and there's the old piece of shit lady. About time. Everyone's finally arrived. Let the festivities begin! Hey! Metal-headed moron! Welcome to a larger-scale function. Humans are burdened with important concerns and sometimes relieve themselves through vulgar communication. In these situations, assume that your actions warrant the unique reprimand and respond with polite subservience. Are you looking at me, idiot? In other words, humans are sometimes complete dickheads, but you kinda have to put up with their shit anyway. I maintain complete observation of my surroundings. A tough guy, huh? Walking scrap metal after I'm through with you. I hate your better than flesh attitudes. I've enough of mine to kick you in the bolts right now. What do you think of that, huh? Think you could take me? Provided your capacities are aligned to the human you represent, yes, I am equipped with multiple means to incapacitate you or to end your life if the threat level warrants. Interaction failed. Unit terminated. What just fell out of there? Pieces of an old skeleton. Likely one of the original employees. Ugh. Hmm. I just use everything on everything, because why not? Okay. Well... Oh, there is a key card pinned to this tattered lab coat. Hello. Intended for a lab technician. I know exactly where to take that. I'm going places. You are not following protocol to complete these tests. You are breaking the rules. I am not. To receive full validation, I must achieve eight merit points. I am adapting to achieve this to comply with the rules, in spite of obstacles. You are faulty. You have one civic test remaining, but you do not exhibit the required behavior to succeed. Affirmative. My protocols restrict me from misrepresenting reality. I cannot respond to the interaction in the desired format. The mainframe can subvert that for you. He will not. He will not violate his operating parameters. You could override it yourself from the mainframe's central terminal. Ascertain motive. Yeah, why are you telling me this? Why are you offering me advice? Do not presume to know my processes. 
I am relaying facts. Hmm. I wonder if he wants me to... Maybe hurt the mainframe to potentially gain more control himself? Hmm. It's shady. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. It just killed me. Okay, so they can see you even if you're invisible? Whoa, what? Alright, that's good to know. Alright, this one's broken, so it's probably not gonna work. Uh... This one appears to be named after the name of the entity in the game's editor. Level 2 underscore lab key card underscore pickup. Uh, whoops. Repurposing Depot number 127. As always, keeping your life efficient so you don't. A team of engineers and cyber psychologists utilize cutting edge innovation to create AI servants that evolve to meet your changing needs. Evolution is constrained by three unique rules chosen in design to bind an AI as it develops. Contra contradictions can emerge as an AI system grows more complex. Regular maintenance. Optimal performance. Conflicts emerge, yes, indeed. Whoa. Have I ever been in here? And this is offices, but for some reason I can't go into it. I'm assuming there's a locked door there, but I can't tell. The parameters of the final civic test must be overridden. Oops. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. And that didn't answer my question. Hmm. I will override the final test. I'm going to your main terminal below the labs. What? Why? Where'd you get that idea? The caretaker. Whoa. You can't trust him, Arid. I knew you would not help me, so I must do it manually. I have helped you, as much as I can. Do you realize the risk I put myself at? I have been alone, sidestepping the caretaker since before you were manufactured. Look at this place! And I'm still here. You have to trust me. Trust is irrelevant. If there is a way to help my pilot, the risk is acceptable. Uh, Arid! You're such a... Robot! Do you even know your pilot? Or is this all just protocol? Both. My protocol is to protect Colonel Josephs. But knowing him is irrelevant. I have survived by being subtle and following the rules. 
we can find another way. You survived while the humans died. Perhaps you are faulty. Jeez, Arid! You know, I don't have the same parameters as you. I'm bound to. The rules are just... different for me. Illogical. Your inactivity makes you responsible. I will not allow anyone to endanger Joseph's. Oh god. Okay, kinda dangerous around here. Very wet, too. Alright. So that's the elevator to the main frame, and it's unpowered. Turbine. Validated domestic droids are networked into a stasis compound. A computer with a view screen on the front. A mainframe computer terminal, the top hatch has been abrasively pried open. A dangling handle connected to the shower. Relatively clean water. And now I've had a shower. Now I smell wonderful. It's an emergency shower. Hmm. There is an open slot with a label that reads detergent. Two test tubes containing bright glowing fluid. These are highly combustible. Okay. Okay, uh, you. Computer terminal. This is the third time this month that I found our main reactive agents shelved right beside each other. I don't understand why I'm not getting through here. Do not store these chemicals together. They're perfectly inert by themselves. But when these agents mix, they are incredibly volatile. The light from the reaction alone is enough to cause blindness. If this happens again, I will report it to Wilson. Keep the purple and yellow liquids away from one another. Okay, so a flash grenade to kill the wormy things. Gotcha. A kitchen knife. It is still quite sharp and relatively clean. <laughs> Not that being clean actually matters. An old beverage machine, and there is a spot here for a cup. Alright, put it in the superconductive fluid. No. Put it in the uh, test tube. No. Put it in the. Never mind. These insects seem attracted to something in this machine. Oh. Good to know. Attracted to clean water, to sugar, to something. An aquarium. The front glass has been smashed. No, there's that same photo that I saw in the dust room. Looks like it's a robot. It's sort of a reddish environment, like... Mars or something, I don't know. In the aquarium, the front of the glass has been smashed. Hmm. Same for both of them. Detergent. Well, these aren't detergent, they're explosives, but I suppose I could try putting them in. No.
Well, it's a mainframe computer terminal. Is this what I'm supposed to pour this stuff into? The main board would react to this, but it is missing. I will try to find it. Okay. Observation. A series of monitors. Faint images from the testing area have burnt into the screens. Ah, burning. Corpse from above the grocery room, headless and one handed. I could cut it. Well, I don't know why. That does not work. Okay, good. I'm actually grateful. Didn't really want to do that. A personal data assistant. Hmm. There are a collection of log entries. Ooh, okay. Sweet. Pete and I are on route. On route? Shouldn't that be in route? Eh, whatever. Are on route to the fabled facility. He pawned off the last of our cargo for this clue to its location. As if a corporation like Domesticon would abandon one of its facilities and then expunge all records of it. A mythic strain, uh, scavenger's paradise. He hears these stories and you can almost see the monetary s signs flashing in his eyes. Ah, why do I indulge him? Well, I guess I know why. This place is a dump, but I have to admit, I'm totally excited. We're going to pull some serious value out of here, like maybe more than our last dozen heists combined. I'm glad Pete took the risk on finding this place. He laughs. Calls me Devin the Doubter. But we both know we're a great team. He managed to hack into one of the terminals and got our palm prints added to the employee register. I swear he can do anything. Oh, so that's whose bodies I've been finding, right? Yeah, because I found bones from someone who worked here. Bones means that they were dead long ago. So the ones that are still flesh, those are the scavengers. So this place has long since been abandoned. Well, <laughs> maybe not abandoned. Rather, I don't know, what do you call it when a place is not staffed anymore because all of the staff died? It's not really the same as being abandoned. We haven't found enough to even compensate our costs yet. And man, if this place isn't creepy. Some of this stuff is trashed, like really messed up. And other stuff is in surprisingly good condition. I can't figure out what happened here. And Pete doesn't seem to care. His eyes are always on the prize. He says this place is all wrecked because the vault got so full of wealth that it exploded open and killed everyone. <laughs> this empty trash hole is infested with giant slugs. I let my guard down for like a minute and one of those ugly bastards squished out of who knows where and spewed acid on my back. The pain is excruciating, and the stench is nauseating. Pete chased it away with his light, and bandaged my burn. I guess my leathers took the brunt of it. We did find one thing of value. We pried open a computer terminal and removed a fancy superconductive mainboard. That alone will be worth a trip. If this area wasn't so flooded, we could probably get a lot more. Stupid slugs. Is it cruel if I took pleasure from its squeal? Pete is gone. Pete is gone and I don't know what to do. We were in an employee lounge area, looking for more salvage. This droid came through the ceiling and just, it just grabbed him. I panicked. I panicked and I tried to run, but I tripped over the coffee table and dropped the mainboard. Not that that matters now. Pete started screaming and I ran. It was a bad scream. It was a really bad scream. I'm sorry, Pete. Tripped over the coffee table and dropped the main board. Is 
That's weird. It looks like I can drop down. But evidently, I cannot. Hmm. Alright, where's this coffee table? Need to find it. Also, going in there did not help me whatsoever in trying to figure out what to do over here. Detergent? Which I don't have. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no, I've been in here before. I, I thought this was a new area. Never mind. Hmm. Alright, I've got a bunch of stuff, but I don't know what to do. Alright, so if they're attracted... Oh, excuse me. Oh. If they're attracted to something inside of here and there's a spot for a cup, then that means if I find a cup and put it in there and get whatever fluid is inside, then they will be attracted to that. I don't know what the bioluminescent insects actually do. So I don't really have any reason to do that, but... If I find a cup, it's an option. None of these count. Alright, I've still got my explosion thing. But I really don't have anywhere to use them yet. What would I want to explode? And what's up with this? I'm not sure what to do. Is there something I'm missing from back here? <sighs> Let's see. Well, to complete the last to, to complete the last test, I need to go and finish what I'm doing here. Aside from that, there's the broken ID reader, which I can't use. I don't even have the ID anymore. Yeah. I don't think I'm missing anything. I have no idea what to do with him. Really looks like I can just jump out there. There's like nothing there. I don't get it. What am I missing? Right, so I can make explosions. What do I need to explode, though? I mean, I could explode this. I guess I should just try to explode everything? 
Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, this room matches the description from the salvager's log. This appears to be where he fell. Okay. Well, I'm not too surprised that I didn't uh, notice the coffee table, given that the coffee table is nothing but a black smudge on the screen. Okay. So, it's in the water? Or... What? So the main board's in here, right? So I need to unflood it? Uh, how? Why can't I just, like, feel up the ground? Oh, wait, what? Um, okay. Why do I have to use the liquid on the water to make it glow? Why don't I just feel around with my hand? That's about a hundred times more sensible. Right. Uh, anyway. I can reinstall it at the mainframe terminal. Cool beans! I mean, sorry. Cool legumes! There we go. Gotta be politically correct. 